This video is part one in the series on happy theory and breast cancer. According to happy theory, the body of a healthy human being should be symmetric. The word symmetry means the same on both sides. A symmetric human body would be one in which the right side of the body was identical to the left side of the body. The word for something that is not the same on both sides is asymmetry. An asymmetric human body would be one in which the right side of the body was not identical to the left side of the body. The human body can become asymmetric for many reasons. The human body can be naturally asymmetric as part of the growth cycle of the human body. Young human beings or old human beings will naturally display asymmetry of the body because their bodies are at either extreme of the growth cycle. A human body that has a health problem will usually display asymmetry of the body. The specific pattern of asymmetry the human body exhibits can be used to diagnose the health problems that human body is experiencing. Looking at the connection between health problems and asymmetry of the human body from the other way, every health problem that can affect the human body will produce a certain pattern of asymmetry in the body. One of the health problems that can affect women is breast cancer. According to the previous statements about the connection between health problems and asymmetry of the body, the body of a woman with breast cancer should display signs of asymmetry. As corroboration for the claim that breast cancer is associated with asymmetry of the body, this video will discuss the woman in this picture. The woman in this picture recently stated that she was diagnosed with breast cancer. This woman's body also displays signs of asymmetry as it should according to the claims of happy theory. Tilting or leaning of the head or body is one of the most obvious signs of asymmetry of the human body. The head or body will lean because the right and left sides of the body are not identical. The right and left sides of the body are asymmetric. The stronger side of the body will pull the weaker side of the body towards itself. The weaker side of the body will not be able to resist the pull of the stronger side of the body and will move towards the stronger side of the body. The visual result of this mismatch in strength between the two sides of the body will be that the head or body will tend to lean in the direction of the stronger side of the body. In this example picture, the woman's head leans to her right as emphasized by the line in the center of her face. According to the previous statements, that means that her right side should be stronger than her left side. The weak left side of the head cannot stop the strong right side of the head from pulling the head to the right. If the right side of the woman's body is stronger than the left side of her body, the woman should always tend to lean to her right. The following example pictures all corroborate the claim that this woman tends to lean to her right. The first example picture is a full body picture of the woman standing up. Her body clearly tilts to her right as emphasized by the line on the picture. The woman is also standing up in this second example picture with her body tilting to her right as emphasized by the line along the center of her body. The third example picture shows the woman's body leaning back to her right with her body resting on some object. In the fourth example picture the woman is sitting down. The woman also leans to her right when she is sitting down as emphasized by the line in the picture. The fifth example picture is another picture of the woman leaning over to her right while seated as emphasized by the line along the center of her body. The woman in the example pictures has breast cancer. The woman's body is asymmetric as the tendency of her body to lean to her right proves. This woman's body is cooperation for the claim by happy theory that breast cancer is associated with asymmetry of the body. That is all the video up to this point has proven though that breast cancer is associated with asymmetry of the body. The obvious question is why is breast cancer associated with asymmetry of the body? That question can be answered using this picture of the same woman used in the other example pictures. The thin blouse the woman is wearing allows a relatively clear view of her breasts. The woman's left breast looks as if it is large, full, and protruding forward. The 
woman's right breast appears to be shrunken and receded. The right breast looks like it might be one-third of the size of the left breast. The woman's body in this picture shows the same sign of asymmetry that the previous picture showed. The woman's body is leaning to her right as emphasized by the line in the picture. It was previously stated that the woman's body leaned to her right because her right side was stronger than her left side. According to Happy Theory, as the right side of the woman's body became stronger, the right side of her body also contracted. According to Happy Theory, the right side of the woman's body has contracted into approximately the area enclosed within the outline on this picture. According to Happy Theory, it is not a coincidence that the shrunken right breast is within the boundaries of the contracted right side of the body. It is common sense that as the right side of the woman's body contracted, her right breast, which is part of the right side of her body, would also contract. The human body is filled with blood vessels, nerve endings, etc., that are necessary to keep every part of the human body functioning properly. That would of course include the breast and the structures of the body that support the breast. If some area of the human body contracts, the blood vessels and everything else within that area will become constricted. The flow of blood and energy into and through the constricted area of the body will be reduced to some level lower than the proper level needed to keep that area of the body healthy. According to Happy Theory, that is how asymmetry of the body can contribute to the development of breast cancer. Asymmetry of the body causes contraction and constriction of the breast and the support structures of the breast. The constriction of the support structures of the breast limits the amount of blood and energy that flows between them and the breast. The contraction and constriction of the breast hinders the flow within themselves of the blood and energy that does make it from the breast support structures into the breast. According to Happy Theory, the reduction in flow of blood and energy into and through the breast and the support structures of the breast can contribute to the development of breast cancer. According to Happy Theory, the development of breast cancer is also strongly related to the physical stress that asymmetry of the body places on the tissues of the breast. Asymmetry of the body will cause the distribution of physical forces within the breast to become imbalanced. The physical stress on the tissues of the breast, from either too much force or too little force, can also contribute to the development of breast cancer, according to Happy Theory.